Are you rowing and really feeling it in your butt? If so, this is the video for you. So I see this question a lot and people are curious if they're feeling it in their butt, if that's correct for the rowing machine. And the answer is yes, but here's why. So when it comes to our glutes, we've got basically our big butt muscles and then we've got some smaller ones in there. Some of them are responsible for rotating our leg, bringing our leg out to the side, and some are responsible for bringing our hip backwards, so hip extension. And those big glute muscles that we think of with our glutes or butts are responsible for this. Now that movement, we don't get on the rowing machine. We're never in a position where our hip is behind us from this position. We are in a sitting position, which means we are more flexed at the hip. And honestly, the most straight we get is if this is me at my kind of neutralist position, right? Uh, the most we get is about here. We are sitting, leaning back a little bit, and that is like this on the rowing machine. So even though our glutes aren't fully in that position, we do need these muscles because they bring our leg backwards. They are working when we are going from here to here. That is us, technically our hips are going into our extension. They are bringing us into that back position. So when we are working on the drive, our glutes are activating and working, which means you might feel it in your butt. It is important to note though, how I mentioned that we have different glute muscles that do different activities for our leg. The rowing machine only gets us in that front back position and never gets us into this backward position to this extent. But if you think about it, if I take a step, this is my leg behind me in that backward position. That is my glute working. I am in this back position. So we do want to strengthen our glutes in positions like that. We also want to be able to stabilize when I go to take a step, I am on one leg until my other foot touches the ground. So whether you're running or walking, we have to stabilize. And a lot of that comes from some of our smaller glute muscles to keep our hips from doing this. So like our glute med is a big one for this so that our hips stay level and we don't walk like that with a big kind of tilt, which we call a Trendelenburg gait. Uh, so we want to work some of those muscles. Now a great exercise for that is lateral walks, which I've got a whole video going over that exercise for you. Uh, but another one is like step ups. So when it comes to step ups, you can use a curb or a stair on your house. Please use the bottom stair though, so you're not gonna fall down the steps. But take one leg, put it up there, and then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up lifting ourselves up, but this leg is basically in a behind us type of position where then we can really work on the full range of motion, not for those smaller muscles, but for those big glute muscles. So when I'm here, I wanna try not to push off with my bottom toes. I really wanna squeeze the crud out of my butt, put my weight through the heel and middle of my foot that's on the box, and stand up and repeat. And I'll show you with the other leg in case that's easier for the video. Um, but really, just squeeze the crud out of your butt and lift straight up. Now, a big way you can actually tell if you are using your glute or not is if I don't squeeze my butt, I lean forward, transfer more weight onto my knee, and use my quad to help me get up more than my glutes. Whereas if I use my glutes, you can see I pretty much go straight up towards the ceiling. Now, I love that exercise because you literally have that feedback and immediately of am I leaning forward or am I going straight up? And the straight up is using your glutes more. But that helps you work in a different range of motion than we get when we're on the rowing machine, even though it's just that front and back motion like we get on the rowing machine. So in essence, yes, you're using your glutes. It's okay if they're on fire, uh, but they're partially on fire because we're not using other muscles as much, so work your glute muscles in other exercises like lateral walks or other movements out to the side, which get at strengthening. We don't get on the rowing machine, as well as some other things that get range of motion that we don't get on the rower. Really help to get your glutes really firing and then maybe they'll be a little less sore when they're on the rowing machine. So I hope that that was helpful. Please hit that thumbs up if it was. 
helps me know I'm making content that you all like. Uh, leave your questions, comments below. I love to read them and I do read every single one of them uh, and I try to respond as well. Uh, if you're interested in chatting, I do have a Facebook group that you can come join us. Uh, link is in the description below and happy rowing everybody.